Okay, you guys, we are back. So this is what my little egg bites look like. So they come out a little bit bigger than those ones that you find at the uh, store or um, other places. So these will puff down a little bit as they cool down. Um, you know what I did forget? I forgot cheese. Um, and I've got really good uh, cheddar cheese and I've got some really good Parmesan Reggiano cheese, which would have been amazing. Um, I think I might try to stick some in the tops of these while they're cooling and uh, I'll be right back. But look at, look at these. They are so good. So good. So yummy. See how they're going down right as we watch. So these will be like normal size. Um, well, bigger, but kind of like a souffle when they puff up really big and then they just kind of go down. So you guys are watching this in real time. Um, they cooked for about 15 minutes um, and they look amazing. I'm going to have one in just a few minutes when I can get them out of here. Um, this one kind of runneth over a little bit, but don't they look amazing? And again, you can put anything you have, any kind of vegetable. Um, if you want to use dehydrated vegetables, you certainly can just rehydrate them first. Um, it's not the same as using the freeze-dried the freeze-dried have a chance to soak in this and I gave it extra time um, where I poured the egg in there first and then um, let it sit for just a couple minutes and then I poured more egg in there because it does um, freeze-dried food is like little sponges and um, they do need more liquid to rehydrate and uh, you want to give them a little bit of a chance to refresh a little bit and then add some more liquid like you like I showed you so these look amazing 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 and like I said um you can use yeah I guess I'm not adding cheese to these because I keep talking but um you can put these in your refrigerator or you can uh, put them in a ziploc or a food saver bag um, don't crush them but you can freeze them and they freeze really well pop one out of the freezer um, either heat it up in a pan or an air fryer or a microwave. Microwaves work really good. Just don't overcook it. And uh, these are delicious and very, very nutritious. So if you have to run um, a lot during the week or you just don't have time to eat like me um, and you're just kind of running in and out of the house all day, these are the way to go. Just grab a couple in the morning and, um, and you're good. So thanks for watching, you guys. So the word of the day is going to be egg bites. And uh, I will show you. I'm going to take these out and put them on a plate in just a second. And I will show you how that looks. Um, but don't forget to comment the word of the day. We are going to be having um, our uh, next subscriber appreciation giveaway very soon. I have been super, super busy, you guys. And I still have um, some um, mail-in uh uh, entries coming in and there is still time because we do have two more giveaways to do um, So the next giveaway was supposed to be today. It's not going to be today. Obviously um, This is Memorial Day weekend, so I guess we're gonna go into June a little bit um, and they're probably going to be pretty much back-to-back -back giveaways um, the, the second and the third so you do have time to mail in your entry if you're not going to be on the lives um, you do have to be a subscriber. Um, you need to be there to win unless you uh, send in a, a mail-in entry. You do need to like the video and comment the word of the day in each of the unique videos. Um, we are going to go back to July or to January, uh, from January to the day before we do the giveaways. So go back to those videos. Um, they're not going to be all videos. It's going to be random videos. So make sure that you have the comment, uh, the word of the day in each of the unique videos that have hashtag WOTD and uh, comment that word of the day just like here, a, the comment the word of the day here that I just mentioned a few minutes ago. Um, and that's how you enter to win. So when I see your entry, when I see your comment, you get a little key from me. If you do not get a key from me, don't worry. It just means that I'm really busy. I'm going to go by the word of the day. The key just tells you that I've seen your um, comment and then I usually comment back or give you a little emoji or something 
Um, so for these entries, that's all the key is going to be for because I am super, super behind on all of the entries since January because there's been so much going on. So we're just going to do a random picker with the word of the day in there and not the key. So don't worry about the key. Okay, I will see you in just a minute when I plate these and, uh, and then I'm going to package them. I'm going to eat and then I'm going to package them. Okay, I do want to show you how easy these come out of the pan. They just lift out. I mean, that's how easy it is. This is why I use my fingers. You guys can use a fork or whatever. This is why I spray this so well um, so I can get these out really, really easily and have a clean pan. Just need a little wiping down, a little soap and water, and you're done. So let me continue getting these out and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, and that's what they look like. So for the money of the eggs, dozen eggs, um, I got my eggs at Costco where they were only, I think, $3.49. No, they were $4.49 for 20 eggs, and that's what I got. Um, I did have a few more eggs. I had eight separate eggs, and then I used four more of the Costco. Um, and a little bit of milk. So for what you buy these in the store for already made, um, this is a really good deal. So these are going to last me um, probably until Sunday, hopefully. And then I'll make some more next week. But they're amazing. And this was done with freeze-dried food. So if you guys are interested in the Thrive Life, Thrive Life uh, freeze-dried food. My link is in the description below. Super easy, thecanningnana.thrivelife.com. Um, if you have any questions about the freeze-dried food, please email me at thecanningnana at gmail.com, and I will help answer any questions. Um, and if you're considering being a consultant, let me tell you, now is the time, you guys. Um, freeze-dried food is... You can't keep it on the shelf because of all the food that's not on the shelves in the store. This is going wild. Um, it's amazing. It's been an amazing journey that I've had just since last August. We love the food. We cook with it, as you can see, all the time. But we also use it for long-term storage. And we also use it in our camping. Um, it's Our trailer is packed. So, um, And we also have storage, of course, uh, for long-term use that's stored, but I will tell you, it is so convenient to not have to cut up vegetables, have them all ready in the cans, pick out what you want, and do stuff like this. This would have taken me an hour just to cut up all of these vegetables. So um, yeah, it saves you time. It does save you money because you are not throwing away um, wasted uh, fruits and vegetables in your refrigerator. Um, everything gets used. You only use what you need and it is delicious. So I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment the word of the day and stay tuned for more videos.